Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the weeks of the remaining weeks of September 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully uh, you get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book your personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. So let's see what we have here. We have the central issue, heart of the matter, as the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups. Two of Wands. The Star. The Chariot. And the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so I feel that you guys have been trying to stay focused on just the everyday routine um, in regards to love. Maybe you're trying to, um, some of you it does look like maybe you've been trying to distract yourself or you've been healing, um, you've been working on yourself. But I also feel like there's been something going on. Something has been in the, in the long time making. Um, and there are some sort of plans to move forward. I feel that if there was disappointment in the past, that maybe someone is wanting to make up for what they lost or what went wrong in the past. Um... Yeah, I feel like plans are in place or something is is has been slowly building up. And either way, I feel like you are going to have some sort of wish fulfillment. Um, and I do feel that whatever it is that you've been praying for or putting out into the universe, you are going to have your prayers answered. And I love when both Nine of Cups and the Star comes out in the same reading because both of these cards are talking about wish fulfillment. So I just feel like that's a double confirmation um, that wishes will be fulfilled. And I feel like whatever it is that you've been grieving about here, like you felt like all was lost, you know, this is saying all has not been lost. In fact, here we are to restore the things that you thought you lost. So now it's making me also think about um, the biblical story of, I think, Lot, um, where he lost everything. He got a disease or his, you know, he lost everything. He had a, a family, wife and, uh, you know, money or finances, and he lost all of that. And he went through it. And I feel that, uh, I mean, then afterwards he was, everything was restored, everything he lost. Now, of course, you know, you can't replace, you know, your children or your wife or husband that you lose. But this is saying, hey, you thought you would never find those things again. And here they are. And you're just as happy. So I feel that even though you had to let something go in the past spirit had something better that all happened to make you stronger and also to prepare you for uh what's to come um i feel that those of you that are single i still feel like there's somebody at a distance and they're getting ready to come towards you this person they might literally live at a distance or they've just been quietly watching you um, and making plans to move forward. But whoever's coming towards you, I feel like they're a practical person. I feel like this is um, someone who um, is very analytical. They like to plan things or map things out. They're maybe not very spontaneous. Um, so it, it's been a while or something has been uh, a long time in the making, like I said. Um, you could be dealing with any sign, but uh, what's saying that it could be a Virgo. Also could be someone who is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, could be another Aquarius. And a possible Earth sign uh, other than Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Um, 
yeah so I feel too like you are going to have a sense of peace and serenity fulfillment and I do feel like someone is taking action towards you or you as the pursuer will be um, taking action and going towards your dreams uh, your dream man or your dream woman so you're going after your heart's desire you also may be feeling motivated to take some sort of action I also see you having victory when it comes to your love life um, any type of obstacles or blockages there have been I feel like you are going to overcome that um, I feel that you are also having the, the courage to pursue your dreams and I feel like something was also written in the stars I'm just kind of looking at these images and something looks like it was written in the stars so that also might just be something that you want to look into if you study astrology maybe there's something in your charts in your synastry chart that indicates that something was fated or something was destined um, things that indicate destiny are a north node and um, what is that vertex so if you have planets conjunct more so conjunct either the the north node aka Rahu um, or the vertex um, even the anti vertex which is the opposite of the vertex and a lot of times I don't know why they don't put the um, the conjunction of the anti vertex but you just have to assume so let's just say that you looked at your Venus and your Venus was um, opposite the vertex that would mean it's conjunct the anti vertex so I will so look for oppositions too I would say either way I just feel like something is is saying that it was written in the stars or something was destined um, I also feel that when you meet this person it may be at night or something seems very dreamy or very out of this world or romantic when the two of you meet up it seems like you guys are meeting under the stars or you are um, both let's say you're both at a distance and you're looking up at the moon that person is also somewhere looking up at the moon so it's almost like your eyes are meeting but not really you know I feel like it's something really romantic going on um, I feel too that if you felt that you had some sort of spiritual connection with someone or telepathic connection with someone that that will be confirmed so I see something um, starting off in the spiritual realm and then coming down and materializing so you will have living proof of what you already felt or saw in a dream uh, from the pers pursuers perspective I feel like this person is determined now the only thing is that somebody may have been torn so you may have been torn between two people uh, or you will be or your pursuer is currently torn between two people but I feel that something is an obvious choice and I feel like this person is going towards the energy where they see themselves long term um, yeah for some of you they're also if you're already in a relationship I feel like the relationship itself takes a lot of hard work and I feel like the relationship is um, like a, a solid foundation is being established and for some of you that are in relationships there's also the possibility of an engagement coming up if you're in a long distance relationship I feel like this person will be traveling to come see you or you come see them so I feel like there's going to be a visitor uh, I got something about picking someone up at the airport and I also got something about Times Square so I don't know if someone is from New York someone also injured their thumb um, okay so I feel too that 
there is a strong connection between the two of you. Um, this connection has some sort of spiritual purpose. There's going to be an opportunity to start something new or to start something solid. It also could be that two people bought you together or something is something that bought the two of you together. Something that you guys share in common. I want to say a spirituality. That might be the ruling factor or the thing that rules out other competitors. If there are other people involved, it might boil down to uh, a spiritual bond. Someone also may have a gift for you or someone might be sending you a gift or a present. Um, I feel like someone is going to express their love for you some type of way. Something else I was picking up on. I feel like patience is needed Somebody's definitely going to feel torn and feel like I don't want to make a decision. You might be trying to protect someone's feelings or they may be trying to protect yours. I also see something someone may be feeling left out or rejected or feeling like um they're putting someone before you or you might they might feel this way towards you from time to time. I feel like someone wants to reconcile there. Someone does want to reconcile and start fresh. So I feel like maybe in the past someone missed the opportunity or someone messed up or something wasn't fair. Something seemed seemed unrequited. Someone got blown off. And I feel like someone wants to fix that. Someone is just like, we shouldn't have ended on those terms or I wanna show you that I'm sorry or I wanna show you that I'm serious about our future. So I feel like somebody does feel the need to prove something to you. If you also did any spell work and asked spirit to show you who your soulmate is, I feel like you're going to get confirmation. Someone also may drive for a living or travel for a living, gets paid to travel. Someone also may offer to pay for your trip. Someone is also asking for transparency in the relationship. Somebody is like, if this is going to work, we need to be completely transparent with each other. Um, if you are not involved with anyone I feel like this is the energy of the person coming towards you. The, these are the situations that are going to come up once you're involved with that person. So I feel like this person is saying we need to have transparency. We need to be honest with each other. And I feel that there may be some sort of fear about that. <sighs> I do feel like if something is starting off as a love triangle or somebody is going back and forth between people, eventually that cycle has to end. Some of you are going to realize that something is a blessing in disguise. Some of you have already been having premonitions to prepare you for what's to come. I also feel that if a fire sign is involved, um, or Gemini that someone is needing to let go of one of those two people before things can move forward.
Nine of Cups, I also see someone um, is still indicating that someone will eventually come around and have the courage to come forward. Um, I feel like your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Um, you, Whatever it is that you've been praying for, like, here it comes. So I just feel like overall, just get ready to receive um, your blessings. Get ready to receive your gifts from spirit. All right, so hopefully those messages have resonated. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.